And this low key kind of my song a little bit. I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie. When it first came in, I was like, this shit is dumb. But it's cute. It's cute or whatever. Somebody think it's cute because it's number one on the chart. So shout out to Cardi B. Girl, this is coffee. I'm actually about to go to work in about 20 minutes. So thank God I ain't got no drink in this glass. Because y'all know when I start getting a little bit of alcohol in my system, girl, I start being real extra messy. Um, for those who don't know, my sister had her baby yesterday. She was actually due next week. But, you know, girl, you know, my niece said, girl, it's, it's ready. So she started, you know, messing my sister insides up. And she said, it's time to go. I'm ready to come. So she came yesterday. Girl, I was so sleepy because um, I was up drinking wine. So I didn't even go to sleep until like probably four something in the morning. And I usually sleep with my ringer off. <laughs> Girl, that's how, that's how trifling I am. I sleep with my ringer off. So if you try to call me after I go to sleep, it's a no-go. But I was telling myself to leave my ringer on. So just in case if my sister did go into labor or anything that, you know, my, my ring will be on. I forgot to turn my ring on. So I had got up and went to the restroom around like five. Cause I, every time I get up and go to the restroom, I always look to see what time it is. And then around like 6.30, I heard my phone vibrating on my dresser. So I looked over and I saw my sister name. And the first thing popped in my mind was, oh my God, she about to have a baby. So I picked up the phone and was like, what's wrong? And she was like, can you come up? And then she was like, can we bring the girls over? I need to go to the hospital. I was like, oh, child. I was like, okay. And I, I was like, well, let me just go. And I was trying to get it together. So I was like, it, just, it would just be easy for me just to go over there. So she ain't got to pack the girls up and bring them over here. So I ended up going to my sister's house. I didn't even know that my oldest sister, I thought my oldest, my oldest sister, I didn't even know my oldest niece was in school this week. I thought they were on spring break. So, girl, we walk in the house, my sister holds her stomach. Like, okay, we got to go. <laughs> we got to go. My little girl, they never got the car seat. So my brother-in-law had to run back into the get, run back into the house and get the car seat, and they left. And so I'm sitting there with my nieces, girl. I'm trying to wake up, and they talking my ear off, girl. And my youngest niece was like, my youngest niece was like, Uncle Rodney. Um, <laughs> you know, they, they call me Uncle Rodney now. They used to call me Uncle Ronnie. <laughs> but anyways, Uncle Rodney, can we have a snack? <laughs> Girl, y'all really hungry? Because, girl, it's 6 something in the morning, girl. I said, okay, girl, what y'all want? So I go in the kitchen. There was, like, um, some watermelon. I was like, okay. Thank God my sister already had the watermelon cut up and put it in a container. So all I had to do was just get a fork and just put it on the plate. So they ate the watermelon. And then it was around 7 something. My brother-in-law texted me and was like, hey, did Tatum um, answer her phone call from her teacher? Phone call? So I said, Tatum. I said, this is around, I think, 7.30. I said, Tatum, I said, did your teacher call you or something? Girl, I look over at her iPad. I see somebody named Miss Something popping across. Girl, she politely grabbed that iPad and went right to that table, stuck that iPad like this, and was in school. Girl, so you were going to tell me you had school, girl? Girl, so you, you was going to have us sitting here, you was going to miss a whole day of school. I said, okay, girl, I got her number. Because she knew exactly, I don't care what nobody say. She knew exactly what she was doing. Because she grabbed that iPad too fast, girl, and went to that table and set that iPad in that little thing and girl went and went to school. Because she was trying to play me, though. My, 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 even my brother-in-law said, Tatum trying to play you. Don't let her play you. She was trying to play me throughout the day. <laughs> she, kept getting up in front, she kept getting up from that table. <laughs> girl, at one point, girl, my nerves got so bad, y'all. Because she needed something out of a folder. So she was like, Uncle Rodney, we need this. I said, okay, what do you need? I'm like, where is it at? So my sister got like a big drawer with like books and everything is like organized. So I'm like, okay, it's not this folder because there's nothing in this binder. She was like, it's a purple binder under Uncle Rodney. So I get the binder, I'm looking for the paper. I'm like, Tatum, I'm like, you're going to have to help me because I'm girl, I've been looking for this paper for about five minutes, girl. I heard the teacher talking. I'm like, Tatum, you got to help me find this paper because, girl, I can't find it. So she, I'm going through the paper. She going through some paper. She was like, it looks like this, Uncle Rodney. So I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the, I didn't want the teacher to see me. So I'm trying to look at the iPad screen to see 
what piece of paper it is. Girl, about 15 minutes later, I found the paper. <laughs> yeah! It was right there in front of my face the whole time. God, I think I was so nervous, girl. Then, girl, I was so sleepy. And so I'm like, girl, I have to stay up because my niece kept trying to play me, trying to get up, trying to get up from that desk. Girl, one minute she get up, I see her crawling over the fence to go in the kitchen. What are you doing, Tatum? I'm getting some, I'm getting some paper towel, Tatum. Uh-uh. Go sit back down. I can get the paper towel for you. You don't need to get up, Tatum. Stay in that seat. If you need something, let me know. I look up. She running in the room. Tatum, where are you going? I have to go to the restroom, Uncle Rodney. Okay. She got to go to the restroom. My youngest niece, baby. She swore she deaf. She got to have the iPad, everything. Girl, the TV was loud. The iPad was loud. Girl, you something gonna have to give. So I unplugged the TV because my nerves was bad. I'm gonna tell you my nerves were bad, bitch. I don't know how y'all hoes got kids. God, I don't know how y'all do. And y'all want, and my sister, uh, my sister brother, I want to ask, you don't want kids? Hell no. Y'all think I'm playing when I say I don't want no kids? I don't want no motherfucking kids. Girl, I love my life. <laughs> I love my life, girl. Girl I, I, girl, I just booked my hotel. I'm going to Atlanta in um September for Black Pride. Girl, me and my sister. Me and my sister, we ain't been in the streets. Well, you remember my sister I told y'all about told y'all about he he a nurse. Um he was in Atlanta a few months ago and I went to see him. Um but we had we, well, even when I was in Atlanta for those four days, we didn't go out to no bars to no clubs and we really were just going out to eat and just talking and all that stuff, girl. We didn't really go out, go out. But, girl, we going to Atlanta, girl. We going to do it like we did in our 20s, honey. You know, we getting old, so we got to try to, so you know. We said, girl, we going to do it like we did in our 20s, girl. So we going to Atlanta for Atlanta Pride in September. Um, Girl, I can't wait, bitch. Girl, I got to lose this weight, girl. Because, you know, girl, one thing I will say about the boys, in, the boys in Atlanta, girl, they don't play about their bodies, girl. So anyways, girl, so my youngest niece, she was wearing me out. And girl, I was like, okay, when school was over, I was like, I just need to take a 30 minute nap, y'all. Just like, I just need to take a 30 minute nap. Girl, all I heard was somebody screaming at the top of their lungs, like Bloody Mary. Girl, so I hop up, I run in the room. I'm like, what's going on? Girl, you know, I'm, not, my, I'm like, I had just went, I'm actually glad because I was actually, I felt like I was going into a deep sleep. So I wake up like, what's going on? Girl, Sloan. She's screaming. Oh my God. I said, Sloan. I said, you're going to have to stop that yelling and screaming. I said, you're going to have to communicate with me. What is the problem? <sighs> she, she. Stop pointing at your sister, Sloan. Just tell me what's going on. She won't play with me. Like, I see my niece, I see my oldest niece sitting there in her, uh, what are they called? Those bags that you go, you can uh, sleep in, a sleeping bag. I see her wrapped in her sleeping bag, looking up, smiling. <laughs> Sloan, she doesn't have to play with you. Tatum, will you play with your sister? I don't want to play. <laughs> Sloan, she doesn't want to play. But she won't, she won't play with me. <laughs> Sloan, she doesn't have to play with you, Sloan. Just because somebody wants you to do something doesn't mean they have to do it, Sloan. Sloan, you got to you got to stop all that crying. We not doing that today. We not doing that today, girl. That was wearing me out, honey. So then, um, I had to drive them because my brother in law's mother is going to keep them for two days because I got to go to work today. And, um, you know, my sister in the hospital still. So, anyway, they're coming back tomorrow. Whew, girl. That's three motherfucking children. Girl, I could never do it. I could do it one. Anyways, y'all. So, yeah, I have to take them and meet my um, mother-in-law up the street. And then they went to my mother-in-law's house. We live in different cities, but not too far away. Like a two and a half hour drive. So, I met her halfway. But anyways, girl, they wore me out, honey. When I tell you, baby, I got out. When as soon as I got back into town, girl, I stopped and got me a piece of cake from Cheesecake Factory. Stopped and got me some barbecue. Baby came home. Baby didn't wash my ass, and baby went straight to sleep. Girl, I, said, I told y'all I talked to y'all tomorrow, and girl, I punched it. Bitch, I'm gone. 
But I went to sleep. I think I finally went to sleep around nine something. Girl, I woke up today. It was 12 o'clock. And I made myself get up. I said, girl, you need to get out the bed. Anyway, so I just been laying in the bed. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead. What time? I need to put this time stamp. So y'all, if y'all don't want to hear me run my mouth, y'all ain't got to. All right, y'all. Let's talk about, let's talk about, girl. Let's talk about, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make you don't to cry. I apologize a trillion times. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Never meant to make you talk to cry. Uh -uh. Girl, okay, let's go. So, Derek Jackson, girl. I don't know a lot about uh, Derek Jackson. Um, I've seen some of his videos. I used to think that he gave great advice. Um, I think he's like a relationship expert or relationship guru. I think he's written a book or two, I believe. Girl, we're going to put him down as fraud. We're going we gonna to put him down as fraud. Girl, y'all need to get y'all money back. <laughs> y'all need to get y'all money back, baby. Um, so basically I was headed home a few days, a few days ago and, um, I had stopped by the convenience store to get me some wine. Y'all might really try to stay away from vodka unless I go to the bar, but I try not to keep vodka in my apartment no more because vodka be doing too much. Um, so I stopped by the convenience store, um, to get me some wine and I was like, what can I listen to? you know, on my way home. Girl, I only live like 15, 20 minutes from my job. Also, Tasha K had posted a story about Derrick Jackson. And I was like, girl, a relationship girl? Girl, like the relationship man? Like, what's going on? What's the with it? So I'm sitting down. I started listening to it. Girl, I done listened to most of the video and the, I couldn't even leave the parking lot. I was like, girl, this is a mess. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, girl, is this real... I ain't even gonna say that, girl. I didn't know if it was real or not. I didn't know if Tasha K was like, I'm gonna be. I didn't know if Tasha K was lying or not. I didn't know, but I was listening to it because it was entertaining, and I was like, girl, I don't think this girl is lying. Like, I think she's telling the truth. Like, I just don't think she will pull Derek Jackson out of the sky. And then I remembered her saying that I guess like a while ago they had some type of beef, not like a beef, but it was like I guess some tension between them because I think she called him out before. Um, and I was like, well, maybe she's doing this to get to, you know, to, you know, for some get back at Derek. And I was like, no, nah, I think this bitch is telling the truth. <laughs> I think Tasha's telling the truth. And lo and behold, girl, she was telling the truth, girl. So Derek Jackson is a relationship guru, girl. Basically, he ain't shit. I mean, girl, that's really like the quickest, the easiest way I can put it. He ain't shit. He ain't shit. Um, come to find out he has cheated on his wife multiple times. I believe he even cheated on his wife, um, had sex with the girl in their bed. <sighs> Bitch, you ain't shit either, Candace. I think her name is Candace. You ain't shit either. I'm going to leave you alone, though, for now. <laughs> No, I'm gonna talk about that bitch in a little bit too. I got something for everybody, actually. Girl, we go. What time is it? See, I should have went live. Cause I got something for everybody. I got something for everybody. Derek, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You wasn't shit. And I'm gonna tell you, as quiet as it's kept, the reason why I never could get into Derek was just I thought it was almost too good to be true. And I'm gonna tell you what really sealed the deal for me. I remember about a year or two ago. It wasn't too long ago. Come out like a year ago. Was it a year ago? A year and a half ago, two years ago, he was on the show with Frank, you know, Frank and Wanda. I don't think, well, I think Wanda got fired, but Frank and Atlanta, K. Michelle was on there. And I remember K. Michelle saying that guys are like horrible people. And I just felt like, even though K. Michelle may be a hurt, damaged soul, whatever people want to say about K. Michelle, even though she probably has not had the best luck with men, what she's saying, I felt like was not a lot. With me even being a man, I can say that. Um, and then when you think about the men in relationships, not even not to, not to say that women don't, women are not, women can't be horrible in relationships. But we know it's some ain't shit bitches out there too, right? But for the most part, 
you know, I felt like what K. Michelle was saying was the truth. And I felt like in that moment, Derek, I was like, why is Derek? I felt like Derek was taking it personal low key. Like, no, all men are not horrible. I was like, okay, girl. <laughs> I, was like, I, I was like, I got my eye on you. And quiet as it's kept. Come to find out, the nigga ain't shit. He ain't shit. Girl, he done sent it. This is how you know Derek ain't shit. And how you know Derek. But see, this is a real gag, though. Like, the gag of it all is Derek does not have to give a fuck because Derek knows that he's not going to suffer. Girl, I looked at his Instagram followers. I could be off. I saw 1.3 the other day. It's still at 1.3. Like, ain't nobody not, like, people are still going to buy his books. People are still going to support him. Men and women. Hello? They're still going to support this man because a lot of people look at this situation as though this is what marriage, this is what marriage is about. It's about the ups and the downs. It's about going through something. I keep telling y'all bitches, go out and hop on a dick and do a full split and see how fast that nigga leave your ass. While yes, there might be a couple men out there who will stick around if they woman cheated first, right? But look, look, see how fast these niggas get mad for doing the same thing that they did. Y'all not going to do it. I guarantee you, if Derrick Jackson wife had went out and got dicked down by some of the big, big, biggest dicks in the guy, by bolos, by the bolos of the world, girl, Derrick would have a fit. Candace, bitch, you ain't shit either. Because I'm going to tell you, girl, everybody getting it on this line, on, on this channel. Candace, bitch, you ain't shit either. I keep telling y'all hoes. I keep telling y'all. I don't know why y'all mess with these married men and then think that they're going to leave their wife. They're not going to leave. The only way that man will end up divorced or single is if the woman leaves the man, a.k.a. male leaving Martell. You better believe if that woman does not leave the man, the man is going to stay married. You will forever and always be a side chick. So all I'm saying is, and this is going to, this is going to sound real trifling and tied and through. If you're going to fuck with a married man, and you shouldn't, but if you're going to fuck with a married man, bitch, it's old school and as trifling as this may sound, girl, you need to know your position. Girl, you are a side bitch. Decide. <laughs> the side girl now your feelings done got caught up because you done got caught up into this man and now you want to expose him when the truth of the matter is bitch you knew he wasn't leaving his wife in the first place look where he at still sitting beside his wife and look where you at by your goddamn self girl this is gonna sound so trifling tied and through if you're gonna fuck with a married man get what you're gonna get from the nigga and go on by your business whether it's a money a couple of bags a down payment for your house girl i don't know but girl to think that anything else is gonna come out of this situation girl you are a fool in the half i keep telling y'all bitches this and y'all don't want to listen and now your feelings involved and now your feelings hurt now for this woman what's her name his wife denia I wasn't going to say nothing about this lady. I was going to let it slide. <clears throat> Some of the things that I'm about to say may be misogynistic. It may be sexist. It may be mean. It may be considered disrespectful. But we're going to go ahead and say it. I'm sorry. I feel like this needs to be said. When I look at Derek Jackson, I see someone who looks looks from the outside. Clearly, he fucked up on the inside, right? Because he's a scammer. When I tell you Derek Jackson is the Joanne Prada of fucking relationships, girl, when I tell you, girl, Derek Jackson is the Joanne Prada of relationships, that nigga is a scammer of all scammers. Hello? So when I look at Derek, I see someone from the outside who looks like they have it together, 
physically is not, he's easy on the eyes, looks like he works out, looks, even if he has on a t-shirt or whatever, he looks like, it's a clean t-shirt. He's not, he's not looking bummish, right? So when I, when I imagine the type of woman that he would be into, even though his wife is very, very pretty, I know a lot of people are like, oh, no, the girl is actually, if you look at the girl's face, the girl is gorgeous. Um, but I guess you just never know the type of person that someone could be into because look at Usher. We would expect Usher to be with somebody like a Rihanna or a Beyonce. And he got with Tamika Foster. Now, Tamika Foster is not an ugly woman by far. Or his ex-wife Grace are not ugly women. But we would never put Usher with someone like Tamika Foster or his ex-wife Grace. I think a lot of people were shocked that he had married an older woman like Tamika Foster. But clearly that's his type, right? Older women. So when I look at the Denaya, I know a lot of people are like, you shouldn't talk about this woman. Look, you shouldn't. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know who in the fuck told Derek Jackson and his wife to sit on this couch and do this because they look like complete fools. That woman looked like, he looked like a ventriloquist and she looked like the dummy. She looked so uncomfortable. It looked like this woman had literally rolled out of bed, threw a scully on, threw a t-shirt on, brushed her teeth and came downstairs. If y'all are going to try and put on this united front for the world, at least look decent, bitch. I'm sorry. At least throw on a cute blouse and a cute pair of you know, denim, you know, denim, some jeans or a nice pair of slacks and a button down or just throw on a cute little sundress. Make sure your hair done. Make sure you got a little nice light beat on. Hell, he's sitting there looking like he got on the cashmere sweater and some banana republic pants. And she looking like, girl, the woman who just literally rolled out of bed and just came downstairs and made a video. She looked a mess. I'm sorry. And that just goes to show how much Derek cares about his wife. I don't give a good goddamn what nobody say. Ain't no man, because men are, well, no, that's a lie. Everybody are visual creatures. Girl, just like men, just like the women went crazy over Bolo, we go, cra what? We go crazy over Bolo, hello? And then the, the men go crazy over women, right? So everybody, we're visual creatures. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. But for this me man who we really have never really, I don't keep over uh, Derek like this, like that, but I hear a lot of people say that he really keeps his wife in the background. Now, yes, granted, some people don't want to be the celebrity. Like we barely see Charlemagne, the God's wife. Charlemagne, Charlemagne's wife is bad, y'all. Bitch is gorgeous. Anyways, we barely see his wife. She probably doesn't want to be in the spotlight. The same for this woman. But the times that I have seen Charlemagne's wife, the bitch is together. Hello? So the simple fact that this is your first time really presenting your wife to the world and this is how she comes downstairs and like y'all are okay with it. I'm sorry. Something is wrong with that. Girl, it don't have nothing to do with her. Just not, I don't give a fuck. Because I saw people say, well, maybe she don't give a fuck about what people got to say. Maybe she don't give a, maybe like, you know, when you look like that, you have to have zero fucks about the world. Or maybe she's depressed. Derek, you really had your wife come down stairs with a scully, no bra on, barely brushed her teeth, and this is how you want to present your unit, your union to the world? I don't like it. She making videos after videos. Girl, talking about, can I ask you a question? Sus, no, you can't ask me shit. The only thing you can ask me is where the nearest divorce lawyer at. Because, girl, as spiritual as that woman is, I think that Derek Jackson is manipulating this woman with her spiritual spiritual religion. I can't even say the word, girl, trying to get somebody together. I think that he is manipulating this woman with her religion. I do. I think she is a very spiritual woman, and I think he knows that, and I think that he's tapping on tapping into that. And the fact that she loves God and this spiritual woman, a religious woman. And I think he's using that to keep her there because like a lot of men, they know how it looks on paper to say that I have a wife. And especially if you're a relationship guru, it looks great. 
when you can say I have a wife of X amount of years and we have X amount of kids. Because then it makes you, it makes your opinion more valid. Not to say that if you're single, your opinion doesn't matter, but I think it plays into it when you can say, I have a wife, I have kids. And then, quiet as it's kept, look at the woman that Derek cheated on his wife with. Look at how that bitch look and look how his wife look. I keep telling y'all, I think it is something wrong with a man who gets with a woman who looks a certain way or wants his woman to look a certain way, but then you cheat on your wife with the person who is opposite of your wife. Look at that Candace girl. That bitch look like she's together. And not even together, just like, oh, like, bitch, clearly. I think that Derek is with this woman because he know he can manipulate her. Just like Marceau is with Letitia of Love and Marriage Huntsville because he can manipulate her. It's easy. It's easy. The truth of the matter is Derek don't give a fuck what nobody got to say. Derek not going to lose no sleep. He, not, he probably lost a couple of hours of sleep. He not going to lose no followers. He not going to lose no money. Because you know why? The truth of the matter is a lot of niggas, God-fearing niggas, like he said, I'm, I'm, I'm being coached by some God-fearing men. Well, what men? Because from what we know, John Gray, he ain't shit. We know you don't fuck with him and he don't fuck with you. Girl, Jamal Bryan, he ain't shit, girl. All these God-fearing men, they ain't shit either. Like my whole thing is like now all of a sudden he's finding he's he, girl like when y'all take these vows before God and before your family and friends do you know exactly what you're doing <laughs> are you just saying some shit because that's what you're supposed to say because clearly girl if he didn't take his vows seriously the first fucking time bitch you don't give a fuck about him now God I'm sorry y'all Ain't no way that woman should have got on TV, should have got on camera looking the way she looked. No way. No way. Ain't no way. He, I'm not going to say let, but I, that's the only word I can think of right now. There is no way that that man should have let his wife get on the camera looking like that. Either that woman is depressed, either she's over it, tired, done with it. But nobody... Nobody. I don't give a... And it, it don't have nothing to do with, oh, you care what people think. No. People present themselves... It's a reason why when you go to work, you try and look decent. It's a reason why when you go to certain things, you try to look decent. Girl, ain't no PR. Ain't no publicist told Derek Jackson and his wife to get on there and do that, it, to do that, whatever they did. That's the first thing. And they damn sure ain't said, girl, look the way y'all look. You can look comfortable in your home and not be overdone, but still look comfortable. Then, like I said, that girl could have went upstairs, put on, uh, put on a cute little white blouse, button-down blouse, threw on some little distressed jeans. Girl had her hair done, threw a little beat on her face, and girl sat right there by, beside her husband. Girl, she's sitting like this. Girl, uh, girl, girl, blink, bitch. Girl, blink. Hey, girl. Are you okay? Blink. Do this. Do this, girl. Do it. Oh, she ain't blinking. Something wrong. Girl, he got her hand. He got her hand all like this. Girl, she all up in his damn lap. A mess. A mess. What time is it? It's four twelve. I need to be gone by four twenty five, girl. Just a mess. But shout out to Tasha K for breaking the story. Derrick Jackson, you ain't shit. But he don't give a fuck. Derrick Jackson is not going to suffer, y'all. He's not. And he knows it. Now he getting online like he don't care. Derrick Jackson know he gonna be all right. You know how many men out there that ain't shit and they still, and they still all right? Now let that woman be an ain't shit bitch. It's a wrap for her. I keep trying to tell people, girl, when it, when it's situations like this, girl, a man is not going to suffer. A woman will. A woman will damn near not have a career anymore. Let, let us find out that a woman is an ain't shit bitch and see how fast, bitch, it's a wrap for that hoe. Anyways, y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm gone. That's all I really got to say. 
I saw the diva posted a uh, video that's like 30 some minutes long. So at least I got some to work. Shout out to Erica DeNero TV. She posted a video. It's like 30 something minutes long, girl. That's good. Cause I ain't got nothing. To, I, I ain't got nothing to listen to at work. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.